Welcome to Flip It Furniture. My name is Amy and today we're going to be making over this really cute nightstand. It has so many gorgeous details. My plan is to give this a really soft blend and make it as elegant looking as I can. Now let's flip it. I start by removing all of the hardware and I'm going to soak them in some vinegar and water. Then I remove all the drawers and I start to vacuum out the cubbies. There's a ton of dust and dust bunnies. So I wanna make sure that I do that before I start cleaning. And I'm using Dixie Belle's White Lightning Cleaner. I'm gonna spray down the whole piece and then scrub it, wash it, and then rinse it when I'm done with a wet rag with water to make sure there's no residue from the cleaner left on the piece. Then I use my Dixie Belle Mud to fill in some of the holes and scratches on the piece. When the mud is dry, I just sand it nice and smooth. Now I need a bonding primer because the surface is not real wood, it's pretty shiny, and there's a lot of those details on the fronts of the drawers that are plastic. So I'm using Dixie Belle's Slick Stick. I apply two coats of this primer, waiting two hours in between coats, and then I wait overnight to apply the paint. I want this to really work, so I let the slick stick sit on there for at least 12 hours. I use a sponge to apply it for this reason right here. I don't want any brush strokes to be seen through. So when I'm using the sponge, it's really easy for me to smooth it out. And also for all these details, when I use a sponge, it's easier to get into the details and still get a nice smooth surface. Now I'm going to paint the entire base of the dresser with Dixie Belle's Dusty Blue. This is their chalk mineral paint, so I'm going to use my water mister in one hand and my brush in the other. Because I'm going for a really elegant look, I want to get a brush stroke free finish. I want it to be really, really smooth and I have such an easy time doing that when I'm using the chalk mineral paint with the water mister. Now for the drawer fronts, I'm going to use Dusty Blue and Savannah Mist. This color combination is one of my favorites. It's an really beginner friendly and it, it seems like the colors are pretty close, but the impact that they make is it's huge and it gives it such an elegant look. And you can go with golds if you wanted to do accents, silvers, or bronze. You could really do anything with these blues. I like to outline with the darker color first, so that's the dusty blue. And then I'm taking the Savannah Mist and I'm adding it into the middle. I don't want to start blending it yet. I want to make sure that it's in all the cracks and crevices first. Even though this is just my base coat, which is my first coat, and I still need to add another coat, I like to blend my first coat. And I'm going to start doing that right now. It's not gonna be a perfect blend, it's just gonna be a rough blend. So I grab my dusty blue and I start mixing the colors together just a bit. I do this on my first coat when I'm blending because I find it much easier on my second coat to cover something that's already been blended. 
I don't like to try to do a soft blend over something that has two harsh lines because you can sort of see those two harsh lines peeking through. Now I'm getting ready for my second coat and I wanna show you how much water I actually use on the top. Using this water mister with the chalk mineral paint gives me the least amount of brush strokes and that's what I'm looking for, especially on the top of a nightstand because people, that's what you put everything on. So you're gonna be looking at that. That's a main focus. Yes, the front, but also the top. So I always want my tops to be very smooth. So I do use quite a bit of water. I don't soak the whole thing. I just make sure that my brush is still wet, that I'm not pulling at any moment. And on my second coat, I wanna add a subtle highlight to the bottom of the drawer. So I do one just to get it wet again. I add some of my dusty blue across the whole thing. And now in the center, I'm gonna add the Savannah Mist. And just going back and forth, I'm telling you, this is such a great beginner blend because you can see how the colors are just blending right into each other. But that middle is very much highlighted. I've used this color combination once on my channel before and it's one of my most popular videos so you probably recognize this but I thought it was a great time to show you exactly how I use it and that it is so beginner friendly. And if you like this video I would love it if you hit that like button that lets me know that you like it and it pushes my video out to more people which I really really appreciate. Now for the second coat of this blend, I want to push out the Savannah Mist just a little bit more than what I did with my base coat. That's another reason I love blending on the base coat because you kind of get, it's like a practice run and you get an idea of what you want to do on the permanent, the second coat. Now I'm adding Moonshine Metallics, and this is in Steel Magnolias to highlight the trim. And for the raised details, I'm gonna add bronze gilding wax. I don't wanna add any of the wax into the creases because I want this to be really clean and elegant. Now I could have gone with the steel magnolias, but I chose to do just a little bit more color. I just want there to be a little bit more interest and depth. So that's why I chose bronze.
And I add a total of two coats of the steel magnolias. Everywhere I put it around the trim, the feet, um, I add one coat, I wait for it to dry, and then I just add another coat right over it and get full coverage. And to seal my piece, I'm using Dixie Belle's clear coat in satin. It's gonna give it that really buttery, smooth finish. And I'm using my sprayer to apply the sealer because I feel like it gives me the best results. And I'm gonna apply three to four coats because the coats go on super thin. And I want to show you the top, how smooth this finish is. And that's because we really paid attention when we were priming on smoothing the primer out and, you know, smoothing the chalk mineral paint out. And then I sprayed my sealer. I just love the elegant soft blend. And when I'm doing the elegant soft blend, I love it to be almost brush stroke free because it just looks so smooth and buttery and gorgeous. If you love the soft blend, then check out this video right here where I did a soft blend on a jewelry armoire. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons and I will see you next week with another furniture makeover.